Hey guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So tonight I'm going to make a burger. I'm practicing for a burger contest that's coming up and I'm just really trying to figure out what flavor profile I want. And since I have some leftover stuff that I've thought out, I'm going to go ahead and put it together tonight. Anyway, we're going to eat this and um, we're still working on our contest burger. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do elk. Um, burgers tonight and elk is just one of those wonderful wild game meats that it doesn't taste gamey to me I don't I don't know if I don't have a gamey palate or, or what the deal is but I don't find it gamey I just find it different to me it's the difference between a ribeye and a filet mignon there's a taste difference and so that's how I describe it, and that's the way I feel about lamb. I have had horrible lamb, though, I will say that. And I've had very gamey uh, venison. Um, if you don't take care of that meat correctly, I think there's a problem. It's also, you know, whether they're in the rut or they are, um, you know, what they're eating, that kind of thing. But for the most part, I've never had um, gamey elk so to speak. I have had bull elk meat and that's what we're going to have tonight. But I've had bull elk meat you could not chew because they processed it right away. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and make us a couple burgers and um, I'm going to, you know, I'm just trying to inspire myself with the different flavors that we've got going on and get ready for that upcoming barbecue contest. So anyways, I hope it inspires you to stay along for the ride and we'll get some grilling going. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm glad you guys decided to stay because this is going to be fun. I, I've chosen very simple ingredients for this one. I'm not going to, you know, really go outside. Um, I don't want to take away from the flavor of the elk meat, if that makes sense. So what I've got here to begin with, well, let's put our elk in here. Over here, behind the bowl, um, I have uh, elk from my husband's bull elk. I've got elk grind, and then I have backstrap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the backstrap back in the fridge just for a minute. Um, we're gonna grill those off as well, but I wanna just leave those in there. So, what I have is I've got elk meat, fresh parsley out of my garden. I've got an onion, a little piece of an onion that I'm gonna grate down. A big old garlic clove, because I love garlic. I don't care what it is. Anyways, and some blue cheese, some dried cranberry or craisins, whatever you might want to call them. And some, some olive oil, some pepper. And this is just gonna make for a delicious burger. And there's enough burger meat in here for a meatloaf, actually. But um, And I did, when I ground this meat, I ground this together with some added fat. So there's some added lean, uh, well, not lean, but added pork in here to get the fat content. Not a whole lot, though. And it was funny because I'd always done that, or I'd add bacon or something in there. And then um, it dawned on me... One year I just did it, I ran out of the pork and I thought I've got to get this meat done because we process all of our own elk meat, deer meat, all that. Um, and I just ground up the meat and put grind on there and no burger and um, it's delicious. It holds together just fine and it's really, really good and we love it. So we haven't regretted that. I don't see a need to spend more money to add. Um, you know, expensive fat in there. I, I just, I don't need to. So all I'm going to do is chop this uh, parsley up. Really fine. And there you go. Got that all chopped. we will scoot that over there. Make sure you can see everything. And I love that you guys stop by to just hang out with me. I feel like you're sitting across the counter from me, which there's two chairs right there and plenty of room to pull up another one if you'd like. Okay, so we got that and I'll bring 
I'm gonna put all of it in there. That's a, that's a good pound, pound and a half of meat. I don't scrimp on, when I package up um, our game meat, I don't scrimp on it because I really want uh, to be able to make a meatloaf or make meatballs for spaghetti or, you know, whatever I need to do. Do, um, you know, my version of hamburger helper or whatever. Burgers for more than two people, that kind of thing. So a healthy amount of fresh cracked black pepper because we love that. I am gonna drizzle down a little bit of olive oil to make sure we have enough fat binder. And then I've got a ginormous garlic clove. And we're just gonna get that down, peel that off. Um, the garlic, I want that grated over really fine over the microplane because if you don't, you're going to get a raw chunk of garlic and it could be bitter. We don't want that. That would ruin my burger. Right? Okay. Oh my gosh. It's just, there we go. It doesn't want to peel. It's because you guys are watching me, that's why. And it's sticky. Okay. Cut. Look at that huge clove of garlic. I don't think you need any more. That's like the equivalent of two. So I'm just going to take that down over my microplane. That way it's really tiny pieces and the, all the oils from the garlic gets released into the meat. And be careful because these things are sharp. cut yourself. I'm going to actually use this for the onion as well. Um, the onion needs to retain some moisture in the meat. Um, I do this all the time with different stuff. When you uh, are putting vegetables have so much water in them and they just release it right into whatever they're you're cooking it in. I do this in my meatloaf, I do this in um, burgers, and even people that say, oh, I hate onions. There's not enough in there to change the flavor, although, although it will intensify if you've got an onion profile somewhere along the way. It will intensify it. And this is about, oh, I'd say a quarter of an onion, a small onion, it's not a big onion. It's a nice sweet onion too. That's the other thing. It's not a bite you back onion. So I want at least two tablespoons of onion in there somewhere. Put that in the compost. And put that in the, in the sink. Now I'm gonna put a handful, and I mean a healthy handful of craisins or dried cranberries. I love these. Better have one. Make sure they're not poison. <laughs> and then I've got blue cheese. Blue cheese and red meat are just like best friends. And I can't, oh, I love blue cheese. And my escargot recipe, if you guys want to see that, I'll be happy to make it because I love it. And I need an excuse to make it. But I make escargot with blue cheese and it is phenomenal. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have to get our hands dirty, right? Because I can't think of anything else I need in there other than, oh, you know what? I do believe I want a little bit of the mesquite seasoning down in here because we're not going to plank this one tonight but I want a little smoky background so I might even go ahead with some just a couple dashes of liquid smoke and I've been using this my whole adult life I love it um, I know somebody said a while back that it was a carcinogen, but I think everything in moderation, two squirts of that and a pound and a half of meat is not going to send me to an early grave, I don't think. 
And if it does, I'm gonna go happy. So here we go. I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna make some patties and I'm gonna have to do this one-handed because I don't wanna get both hands messy. I probably could have used a bigger bowl. I always start out thinking I'm gonna do it small and I do it way big. <laughs> mm. Can't wait to get bites of blue cheese. And then I'm gonna top this with a different type of cheese, but you're gonna have to stay along because I'm not gonna tell you right now. It's gonna be delicious, melty, and oh, just worth waiting for, okay? And oh my goodness, look at those. That's a lot of burger. So I, I can make patties up, and the nice thing is if you're watching your carbs, which my husband kinda is, well, he, he really is, um, you don't always have to have this on a button. Now tonight I know he will, because um, uh, he's at archery, but when he gets home it'll be all made for him and all he has to do is eat it. Um, and he, here you can tell this was home ground because there's a hunk of solid meat there. So um, somebody gets a piece of steak. <laughs> I'll probably set that aside and cook it with the steaks. That'll be a chef's treat. So. Oh, it smells good. I don't really need to, I don't think I need to work that meat any more than that. You can see all the pieces of blue cheese, it's perfect. So I'm gonna turn you off for a minute, make all the patties, get the barbecue grill lit up and ready to go and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are putting them on the grill and these burgers are big. I started out, this is my first one here. Started out bigger. <laughs> biggest and went big so um, I have my little treat over there so I'm gonna grill these off um, and I did want to tell you that was not a package that had added fat um, so in fact you know how when you have fat in the burger meat um, it kind of builds up on the bowl or on your hands um, when it's more than a certain percentage. This is just absolutely lean and wonderful. We do not have to cook this well done, and I'm not going to. I, I think it's it's a crying shame. It'll cook all the flavor and moisture out of it. So you guys cook yours well done if you like, but I know who processed this, and I know how it got this way, and we're gonna have it the way I cook it. So I'll be right back as soon as we're flipping. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just turned the burgers over and I've got some apple slices that I'm grilling up. And so I'm just gonna put one on each patty here. Let's see, we'll pick the smaller patty for that one. Um, this is a really sweet but yet tart apple. And I've got my Colby Jack that I'm gonna go ahead and put that right over top of that apple. Mm, who doesn't like apples and cheese? Oh my gosh. My husband's gonna make fun of that, I'm sure, but that's okay. Um, he loves it when I sing. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? We're just gonna have some elk and I just feel like every, anything I can do for mother nature in here is gonna make this better. So we're gonna go ahead and let that just melt down over and then we're done. I'm gonna bring some buns out and get them toasty and we'll be ready to plate this. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time. These burgers are ready and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get these off the grill. Let's see, we'll pick the biggest fat daddy of them all right here. Put him on that first bun. And then I toasted the buns. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, I need a smaller one for me. Oh, well, there's a lot of apple, but it, it's a smaller burger. <laughs> It'll have to be cut in half, I'm sure. And then I'll put these other patties down. We're going to turn this grill off. Oh, it smells amazing. I know it looks amazing because I'm looking at it. Okay, I'll bring you back in the house YouTube style and we'll get this dinner on. Okay guys, I can't wait for this one. I am so excited. I need a sip of tea. And we're gonna get busy. 
Okay, so I've got, uh, I'll go ahead and do mine since my honey's not home yet. There's the bottom part of my burger. And this reminds me of my childhood of eating, um, you know, I was raised up in the Northwest in Washington State. And, you know, wild game back then was plentiful and we also ate what was plentiful in the garden. Spinach was always plentiful. That and iceberg lettuce. I love iceberg lettuce sandwiches. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some fresh spinach because that was also just one of the big things that we always had um, in springtime, well, summertime. It doesn't get so hot that it bolts so quickly. So, and I want a green on here. I also am only going to dress this with, I've got my toasted bun here, with an olive oil mayo that's a cracked black pepper. You could make an aioli sauce. I just don't have time. It's already late. And I want to make sure I get this on so you guys get to see what's going on. Now remember, there's an apple under there. We've got blue cheese. We have Colby Jack. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I better zoom you in and get ready to cut it open. And there's cranberries and blue cheese and it just is going to taste amazing, I'm pretty sure. Look at that cheese just starting to go, oh, I can't hold on any longer. Let's see how juicy this one looks. <clears throat> mm. My mouth is watering. The red onion would be good on this too. I just, you know, I'm kind of, I kind of ran out of time. But we're just in the burger mode because of Ballistic Barbecue's contest coming up. Look at that fat boy. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This could be a modified entry. I don't know. Check that out. I better have a picture before I whack it up, taking a bite. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a bite. I can't wait any longer. I don't even know which side I want here. But I want to take a bite. The big fat burger. I love the idea of the apple slice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is heaven. The apple brings an extra, just an extra sweetness that without it, I mean, you can taste those cranberries. I love the grilled apple. It's sweet and tart, and it goes so well with the cheese. And then the brightness of the spinach just is amazing. And I'm going to take one more bite because I can't take it. And I did this on a whole wheat bun, so it's healthy. Um... Elk meat is super lean, no fat, no hormones. Um, this bull was harvested out of uh, Ely, Nevada, and um, duh, they're just delicious. <laughs> mm. Boy, you guys need taste of vision. Mmm, <laughs> that is so good. I, I don't think I'd change a thing at all. It's just absolutely perfect. So I hope it inspires you. I hope that it brings you back. If you like this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, go ahead and share it on your Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. And you guys, I just truly appreciate all of you and I want you to know that and um, if you're new to my channel or you just happened upon this video I hope you come back and look at the others. I got plenty more coming up where this one came from so I'll see you next time. God bless.